um, here today I'm going to talk about the ignition magneto stator coil. Um, the one on the Zeta is quite large. It's a nice setup. So um, there's a few things I like to do when I set these up. And one is uh, I'll take a little bit of um, a little bit of Loctite. It's like crazy glue. And I'll put in my washer here. It's already on. And then I'll install this with a little bit of crazy glue. Just to hold it in place so it doesn't um, pop out on me. And then I'll take my magnet and I'll put it in, make sure it's at one o'clock, not this way, uh, 10 o'clock, but one o'clock. Now, me putting that little bit of glue on there stops it from uh, sticking to the magnet and coming out. So once I got it like that, I'll move this down so you can look at it a little bit better. Put on my washer, my lock washer, put on my 14 mil. And I'll turn the engine slightly, put a little bit of a wood block in there and tighten it up. Moved on me a little bit there. Making sure it's nice and tight. Okay. Once I've done that, I like to take this and Feed my wires through and put this in place. Now, the magnet's pretty strong, so it pulls it wherever it wants to and it doesn't align it. So, I'm going to show you how I align the coil so it's not touching the magnet. So, I'll get the bolts started here. Start it. Okay. Uh, screw these down, down, but not so it's touching. So I don't want this touching at all. And then what I do is I take two pieces of paper. I roll one in there like that and I take this one and we'll do like that. See how it moves around? Oops. Okay, so I can start this one. What I want to do is bring that into this side here. There we go. There, now I have a spacer in between the two. I'm going to rotate this now like that. So now I have a gapping. It's setting up a spacing so it's not going to touch when I tighten it down. And I just simply go ahead and tighten these up.
making sure it's good and tight so it doesn't move on me. All right. Now I can go ahead and turn this and pull out my pieces of paper. There, now I have a nice even spacing all the way around my magnet so it's not rubbing. And then I just go ahead and install my cap back on. Just like so. And I'm just going to nip off this little piece of zip tie here that's sticking out. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, some guys, what they'll do is they'll. Um, you can silicone these wires up here so you get no moisture in here. Uh, you can silicone the end of here as well so no water gets in there. Well, that's it. That's how I uh, set up my magneto stator. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, remember to hit the like, share, and uh, subscribe. Um, this engine here, I'm going to finish putting it together and uh, put it on the bike and uh, take it for a rip. Um, stay tuned for that. Thank you.